All right, time for a little plastic welding. I'm uh, going to hot staple this thing and a couple other techniques, uh, maybe. Uh, first thing I did is I just took some packing tape and I pulled that crack as close and tight as I could get it. It's not perfect, but like I said, this is going to be hid under the triple tree, so you shouldn't see the crack. It was hardly noticeable when it was installed, so it's going to be hidden. I'm not too worried about it. All right, I'm going to put my first staple across the crack of the uh, beginning of the crack. And the thing is, you don't want to go too thick. Uh, this is thin plastic, so go in maybe halfway, if not that much. I usually put a little twist at the end before I pull the staple. Squeeze the trigger. See, we get some heat. It's sinking down in there. A little twist, the let off the trigger, pull it out, let it cool. And that, uh, no matter what, should keep that crack from spreading any further. Let's put a few more in. You can see where it went in versus how much I twisted. All right, I just tried something new off camera. So this is my Dremel tool. I 3D printed this little stick in red PLA filament and uh, turned the Dremel on to its highest speed. Uh, going to do a technique known in the industry as friction stir welding. They usually, with um, steel, aluminum, whatever, I think mostly aluminum, non-ferrous materials. And uh, the theory is uh, you run this rotating stick through there. It melts the plastic and blends it and uh, fuses it together. And I had a model kit as a kid that had something really similar uh, these are not the same kind of plastics. So the three-wheeler plastic melts a little quicker. This just kind of blunts. So I'm going to maybe order some ABS PLA and try this again. But I don't think uh, the PLA type filament works as well. So we're going to go back to the stitching and maybe just a regular plastic weld melt next. Well, this is what it looks like on the inside now. It looks like Frankenstein with all his stitches and staples. Now, I'll take a pair of wire cutters and snip those off flush, uh, hit them with the uh, Dremel grinder wheel, and uh, we'll be good. Now, sometimes those things, if you tug on them or push them one side or the other, they will just snap free. Now, I see a couple that didn't go too deep but they'll hold. Uh, but how strong is it? But this is the test. See, it was... Yeah, it's pretty stout. It's going to hold. Uh, so see how rough that fender is compared to the rear one that's already been buffed so next step will be cleaning up this fender and that does it for new year's eve y'all have a good new year